to the Case IH Axle Flow 250 Series Combine Operation Guide. In this video, we shall go through the initial on screen setup for Harvest Command operations. When you are in the field and ready to start using Harvest Command for the first time, carry out the following instructions. Ensure that the Master AccuGuide and Harvest Command switches located in the roof panels are turned on. Familiarise yourself with the on-off manual override switch location which are new for Harvest Command operations, such as the feed rate control, pre-sieve adjustment and cage vane adjustment switches. The concave must be set manually. Harvest Command has no jurisdiction over the concave setting. The header lowered into work ensures that the letter A appears in the combine outline, which means that Harvest Command automation is working. If it shows a 1, it will be in ACS or manual mode, and H will be in headland mode. Via the toolbox screen, go to the Drive tab and find the feed rate sensitivity. This is how quickly the combine will react to changing crop density in the field. Start with the medium setting and judge how the combine is behaving. It can always be changed later. Ensure that the correct crop type is selected. If it cannot be selected, then you will have to work in the ACS mode. Then touch the icon next to it. Select the basic tab and input your three datums. If you are unsure, touch the blue info button, which will explain each selection. Select the advanced tab and again select the necessary datum. Initial setting should be automatic. To start with, select medium frequency and threshing and select a rotor speed that is highest in the selected gear range. For example, in gear 3, 1180 RPM is the maximum speed that it can achieve. Select the Sends tab. Initially, let the combine adjust the sensitivities of the loss monitors as you are combining. But once you gain experience, you can then manually input them to suit your requirements. Reset sensitivities for new crops. Select the Headland tab. In here, you can set up loss saving settings when turning on the headland, for example, reducing the fan speed and opening the top sieve. These settings will automatically be set when you are in headland mode and automatically be set back to normal in working mode. Select the status tab and look for all green ticks to check that the sensors are working correctly. A red cross means that the sensor is offline and needs checking, cleaning or perhaps dealer intervention. Select the Info tab for factory suggested settings. However, refer to the Quick Guide booklet for UK recommended settings. Initially, allow the combine to give you full range of movement and adjustments according to your setup. However, when you are more familiar with the machine, you may want to introduce range limits to certain aspects of the combine. The combine will automatically adjust itself to take account of these limits, but it may impede its overall throughput and performance. You can set limits for the fan speed and sieve settings in range 1 and rotor speed and cage vane settings in range 2. For example, these may be useful if straw quality is important to you to limit the maximum speed of the rotor and limit the minimum angle of the vanes. The first time you go into work, line up and lower the header to a preset height. And assuming you have AccuGuide AB lines in place, Move towards the uncut crop and press the auto steer button. Then move the joystick forward to approximately the speed you want to achieve and press for a couple of seconds the feed rate control switch. At this point it will beep and the combine is in complete automation. Combine output may be limited by the settings. When a setting limit is reached an icon will appear in the top right hand corner of the screen and in the bottom left status box. With certain limits, you can readjust your settings to ensure that you can get maximum performance. The combine will automatically try to make adjustments in order to get the performance indicators to work at 75% green viewing. If it goes above or below this, the combine automatically makes the appropriate adjustment to suit. Remember that it will not adjust the concave clearance. There are five performance indicators rotor loss, broken grain, sieve loss, MOG or material other than grain, and returns volume. 
After you have done some combining, visually inspect the grain, tank, sample and losses. If you are not satisfied with the results, then tune the combine accordingly. Adjust one sensor at a time and allow the combine some time to readjust itself after each tuning. To tune the combine, touch the relevant icon next to each indicator. A pop-up window will show on the screen. Select your situation. Way too much, too much or more is allowed. This will automatically reset the sensitivities and adjust the combine settings until such a time that acceptable can be selected. If the unthreshed icon is selected, the threshing strategy will go up to the next level, i.e. easy to medium or medium to hard. Always remember that more comprehensive information including safety specifications, maintenance and setting procedures can be found in the operator's manual which should be read prior to harvest operations, maintenance and repairs. Thank you for watching and have a great season. <music>